Cisco FTD DNS Security Intelligence is used to quickly block connections to or from domain names with bad reputation based on a database created by Cisco Talos Security Group. You have the option to drop DNS queries for malicious domain names or return a specific not valid IP address called DNS sinkhole to redirect users to that sinkhole IP address and log the users accessing malicious domains. In the last video, we have blocked IP addresses and URLs with bad reputations through security intelligence using Cisco feed or custom list. It is also possible to block domain names with inspecting DNS queries. The process is the same as for IP address and URL. We use Cisco Talos Security Group database or custom lists created by us or third party companies. With IP address and URL, the only option is to block if they are malicious. However, with DNS query, we also have the option of returning an invalid IP address in DNS response, which is called sync hole. Why do we need to return a not valid IP address to DNS query? Because DNS query usually comes from DNS servers and not directly from end users. If a not valid sync hole IP address is returned, then end user attempt to access sinkhole IP address. Then we have the option to log the final user who is trying to access the domain name with bad reputation. For example, the client sent a DNS query to the internal DNS server for the domain example.com. The query is forwarded from internal DNS server to external DNS server. FTD sees the DNS query with the source of DNS server and not with the client itself. FTD blocks the forwarding of the DNS query to outside since it is malicious and send a DNS reply with sinkhole IP address. Then the user try to access sinkhole IP address. In the FTD, we block access to the sinkhole IP address and log the IP address of end user trying to access sinkhole IP address. Therefore, the end user trying to access domain name with bad reputation are logged. In the object, object management and security intelligence and DNS list and feeds, there is Cisco DNS feed, which is regularly updated by Cisco Talos Security Group. Global block list is empty by default and can be updated through connection event, like what we have done for IP address and URL. Analysis connection event, you need to select DNS query connection event with a specific domain, for example, table view of this connection event with the domain, for example, account.google.com and then right click on the domain name to have the option to blacklist the domain name. It is also possible in the security intelligence DN DNS list and feed to add custom DNS feed and list. In DNS custom feed, you provide a URL where FTD pulls the updated list periodically you can choose the update frequency. In custom DNS list, we add and update the list of domains 
manually for example domain.txt with three domain google.com time.ir and cisco.com we choose domain.txt domain custom list and then upload three in three and then save the custom list or feed must be added in DNS policy to be enabled not directly in security intelligence in policies and then DNS there is a default DNS policy we can edit default DNS policy or we can add a new DNS policy there are by default two rules in default DNS policy for domains in a global blacklist global blacklist for DNS the action is domain not found is returned to the user and for domain global do not block list for DNS the default action is to do not block or allow the DNS query in a few minutes I will talk about uh, various action options in DNS policy I will add a new rule for my custom DNS list which is domain custom list there are five options in DNS policies to be used for each rule do not block allows DNS query to be forwarded monitor log DNS query DNS query is evaluated against other rules to determine whether it would permit or deny domain not found returns a non-existent domain name or NX domain response to the DNS query drop the DNS query from user perspective DNS query will be timeout and DNS sync hole returns a sinkhole IP address in response to the query the sinkhole can log or log and block the DNS query let's check each action to check the result of DNS query for first practice I will choose action do not block Raika DNS rule and then add and then save if you have added a new DNS policy and did not use default DNS policy don't forget to enable it in security intelligence in policy access control edit access control policy and then security intelligence by default default DNS policy is enabled so if you have added a new DNS policy and did not use default DNS policy you don't have to forget to enable it here in security intelligence so I will not change this option but be careful not to forget to deploy any security intelligence changes including DNS policy to the FTD appliance so we deploy now let's check the DNS query from a computer behind FTD for domain cisco.com which is in our custom DNS lease NS lookup for server 4224 and then cisco.com as you can see we receive DNS reply without any problem DNS reply can also be checked in connection events 
in analysis connection events we filter the connection events to show only dns to show only dns query to the domain cisco.com and then cisco.com and then search as you can see the dns query for the domain cisco.com from the ip address 192.168.10.10.24224 is allowed and there is no problem to receive DNS reply. For the second practice, I will choose the action drop in our DNS policy for custom list. So edit in our Royco DNS list, we choose drop and then for our custom list and then OK and save and we deploy it again it takes some time but I will pause the video not to waste your time now let's check again the DNS query from a computer behind FTD for the domain cisco.com which is in our custom DNS list cisco.com as you can see we received timeout DNS reply since DNS query is dropped and no reply is received DNS query action can also be checked in connection events for the domain cisco.com cisco.com and then search as you can see DNS query to the domain cisco.com is blocked and it is matched with domain list custom list In the third scenario, we change the action from drop to domain not found. In Royco DNS rules, and we action to domain not found. Okay, save and deploy. Again, the changes to the Cisco FTD applets. We check again the DNS query from a computer behind FTD for the domain Cisco.com. As we expect, the non existent domain is received in the DNS response we check it also in connection events analysis connection events as you can see the dns query to domain cisco.com is blocked and the action domain not found is returned in the last scenario that we are going to implement is to sync whole dns query and return a not valid not a rootable ip address as we have explained earlier dns query is normally forwarded with dns server and not the client itself with returning sync whole ip address in dns reply the client itself try to access sync whole ip address then we have the option to block and log the final user who is trying to access malicious domains to implement single action in dns policy first we have to configure 
sinkhole IP address in object, object management, and then sinkhole section in the object, object management. and sinkhole section for the sinkhole object first we have to give a sinkhole ipv4 and ipv6 for example 7 8 9 10 a non rootable ip address or a not valid ip address 7 8 9 and then 8 this IP address will be returned to DNS query when the query is for the malicious domain in the list sinkhole IP address. Then we have to choose the option just log the access to sinkhole IP address or both block and lock the access to the sinkhole ip address when the user is accessing sinkhole ip address when dns reply is received you have the option also to configure multiple sinkhole ip address for different group of malicious domain list so we can identify which user are accessing which type of malicious domain list but for our scenario we don't change it and i will set it to the noun and then save then tinkle object must be configured in dns policy policy and then dns edit for our custom list right card dns rule we change the block to sinkhole and choose sinkhole IP address and then OK and then save and don't forget to deploy security intelligence or DNS policy changes to FTD appliance and then deploy. Now we can check sending DNS query for domain cisco.com to see the result of DNS query cisco.com as we expect the IP address of sinkhole IP address 78910 is returned we can check also the connection events analysis connection events to see what is displayed in connection event as you can see sinkhole is shown also in connection event and dns query is also block and when we try to access sinkhole ip address for example ping 7 8 9 and 10 the client IP address who is accessing malicious domain will be logged as you can see from the client 192.168.10.10 and with the destination 7.8.9.10 it will not be blocked since in the sinkhole object of selected log action and not block and log action as you can see in sinkhole here i've choose log connection not block and log connection